An object moves in a circular path at a constant speed. Compare the direction of the object's velocity and acceleration vectors. So the first thing we're going to do is to draw out this situation that we have described here. So we have some object following a circular path shown here. And we'll say it is a ball. I'm going to place the ball here. We know that the object is moving around the circular path at a constant speed. So along the circular path, it's not accelerating in this direction. But it does have a direct, uh, an acceleration directed toward the center of the circle at all points around the entire circle here. Now, they want us to compare the direction of the object's velocity and the acceleration vector. So here, we have our object here, and we're spinning this, say, counterclockwise. It doesn't matter what direction you do it, we'll get the same result in the end. So if we chose to make the object moving counterclockwise, here is our velocity vector. And we know that because we're spinning it in a circle, it has an acceleration toward the center, a centripetal acceleration. So our acceleration toward the center is given by A. Now, let's pick another point, say here along the circle. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to draw its velocity vector, B. And now I'm going to show the direction of its acceleration. So now, for both of these, we can see here that the angle between each of these is 90 degrees. So from this we can say that our velocity and acceleration vectors are perpendicular to one another. The reason for this is because we know that our velocity is tangent to our circle, right? So it only intersects at the one point. So this is our velocity vector. It only intersects at this point here. And we know that the acceleration is directed toward the center. So here, no matter what, this forms a 90 degree angle no matter what direction you orient your velocity. So if we were instead spinning it in the opposite direction, so this way, we would once again get this 90 degree angle here. Same thing here. You would still get that 90 degree angle. So it doesn't matter what direction you do it, once again, it's just inherent to an object moving around in a circular path that the vectors are always perpendicular.